This is your weekly weather briefing for August 14th, 2017. For the work week, we have improved air quality. That's good. However, there is the possibility for some smoke, um, especially across the northern mountains and valleys, due to local or regional fires around the area. And also, we could see some smoke coming down from PZ again. Uh, for the weekend, uh, another cold front passage is expected. So this is the satellite image we were looking at last week. A lot of smoky um, skies around the area. And this is what we're looking at for today. So uh, very uh, much clear around the area. The cold front has scoured out the smoke. I put on the regional larger wildfires as well, just to kind of give you an idea where they are and where we could see some uh, sources of smoke for this week. Also fairly smoky up into BC as well. And the air quality sensors up there still showing some poor air quality in um, portions of southern central uh, British Columbia. And some of that smoke could be coming down into the northern portions of the region as we go into uh, the middle to late week as well. This is the seven day forecast for Wenatchee. Uh, much of the area, uh, similar type of pattern that we can expect. Um, so temperatures will be near normal through Tuesday and then increasing uh, through the uh, latter part of the week. And uh, could see some breezy winds um, through the gaps, Cascade Gaps, which would affect the Wenatchee area on Wednesday. Um, not quite as breezy across the basin then. Uh, but another breezy period for the, the weekend is expected with the cold front. So just an overview. Uh, uh, occasionally breezy winds, especially on Wednesday afternoon, night. Temperatures will be warming towards the end of the week into the low, uh, mid 80s to low 90s, so back above average. Precipitation will be dry, and then some smoke can be expected down the Okanagan Valley and some of the valleys across the northern mountains as well. The weekend cold front, so right now it looks like the timing will be Saturday night. Uh, moderate confidence in that timing. Uh, little to no precipitation though, looks like it's going to be fairly dry. And uh, temperatures will be cooling back to normal, so back into the 80s. Fairly high confidence that that's going to happen. And then the hazards or potential impacts, really we're looking at, um, uh, you know, if we're going to see any kind of uh, impacts, it would be the potential for the spread of any new or ongoing fires. And then the eclipse, remember, is going to be a week from today as well. Keep that in mind. This is a, a fairly low confidence as far as what kind of weather pattern we're going to see, but uh, this is in general what the models are showing. There's pretty good agreement. So we could see some moisture coming up across the Four Corners area. So we could see some clouds maybe creeping into the uh, far southeast portion of the region. Uh, but I think the better chance of where we could see some clouds impacting the eclipse would be with the another cold front that would be uh, moving in for early portion of next week and then so we could see some higher clouds starting to move in across the Cascades at that time. The 8 to 14 day outlook for next week um, generally near normal temperatures maybe slightly below normal better chance of and then a better chance of drier conditions as well. Okay that includes the briefing for this week thank you very much.